Hey everyone, it's me. Okay, I know it's been forever since I made a real video, and I'm really sorry. I guess my excuses. School has really picked up, and I just started a new job. And when I'm not working, I'm working really hard to keep my grades up because the end of the year is coming really fast, and I'm dying slowly, painfully with the amount of schoolwork that I have. But I got a Facebook message from one of my really good friends here that said, Sarah, we're going crazy. Have you had time to work on any new videos? We want them. And so thanks to Neil, I'm posting a vlog to kind of hold y'all over until I can make a good video. I'm going home this week for Thanksgiving and I have lots of ideas to film that I just needed to be home to film. And so I will devote as much time as I can to filming them and editing them. So don't hate me. I'll have them out soon. Okay, so I thought I'd tell you a funny story of something that's been going on lately, kind of making me crazy. There is this um, radio station that's a local radio station and they have been doing this contest where they had 95 boxes all around town and they give you clues over the radio and then they post them on the internet and you can go and look for these boxes and they have movie tickets or gas cards or shopping sprees and then one of them has five thousand dollars in it and so I'm a little broke college student and so I took those clues and I was gonna find the five thousand dollar box and the first day I found out about it um, I had no idea what the boxes looked like and so I'm driving around and I see this gold thing shining kind of in the distance and I'm like what is this and I had been looking for this box for an hour in this one spot I th thought it was and and I get out of my car and I'm looking and I was like what I found it it's this it was this little gold egg shaped gold and silver shiny thing and I was like this must be it what else is this going to be and as I get I keep walking and I get closer and closer and closer to it and I'm like I found five thousand dollars oh my gosh I'm gonna buy groceries for a whole year I'm gonna be great I was really excited to buy groceries because I'm hungry and broke send me money I'm just kidding totally kidding anyway so I find it and it's this styrofoam egg definitely not the box and I, I look at it and I'm like well I mean what and so I've been looking for this box for two hours and I was like you know what I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this star foam egg that I found in the middle of a field and I'm just going to treasure it so for your viewing pleasure here's the star foam egg that um, is worth five thousand dollars to me because it was supposed to be a five thousand dollar box um, if you want this egg um, you can just PayPal me, you know, like five thousand and three dollars, and we'll call it even. And I'll just definitely mail this to you. I mean, don't you want this? I mean, it's just beautiful. Okay. Anyway, and so it turns out the boxes are actually about this big, and they're white, um, little bitty prize boxes. And so I've been doing this game for probably like three or four weeks now. And I was one night I heard the clue to the prize box, the five thousand dollar box, and so I sped on down there, you know, drove down there, and there's a ton of people looking for this box. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be the one to find it. I just know it. And so I'm looking around. I probably hunted for that thing in the dark for three hours. Seriously. I mean, I have no life, really. And so I finally get frustrated, and I notice I'm just hunting this one area down, and I notice these guys behind me, and they're kind of wanting to look for the box, too. They're kind of wanting to look in the same area, but they don't want to, you know, take over my area. And so they're kind of waiting on me to leave. And so I was like, well, let's, I'm not going to find it. Let's go. But wait, I'll have a little bit of fun first. So I bend down and I pick up this pine cone and I start screaming and I run to my car, jump in the car, like freaking out, pull out and just drive away. And I look behind me and the guys are just kind of like, what, what, you know, like, what? It, she just found it cried, you know? And so for your viewing pleasure, the pine cone, I mean, if you want this pine cone, We'll call it two thousand, and then we'll just that'll be even. You know, it's a five thousand. It's worth to me five thousand dollars. This is a five thousand dollar pine cone named Fred. Over the course of all these trips looking for the box, um, I, I got a collection of little things that I just decided I have to have because I went out there to find the box, and if I wasn't going to find the box, I was going to take something home. And um, here's one. It was a fishing pole. It's actually really dirty. It was you can see the dirt. It was actually immersed in the lake when I found it. I mean, it's got a broken tip. We call this the $3,000 fishing pole. Um, these things are actually very close to my heart. I'm not really hawking them. It's kind of a joke. Um, so don't actually email me and be like, hey, I'd like to buy that $3,000 fishing pole from you because then I just laugh at you.
anyway all right that's pretty much it um i will have some new videos out soon i promise and i love you all have a splendid day okay that's it Please subscribe to me <laughs> because I really, really could use all the subscribers. You know why? Why, Cinderella? Why? Because I, I, I like them all so much to subscribe. So, subscribe to my channel. That is some great advice you give, Cinderella. I think we should all subscribe there now. Okay. So, here's the world. And a box of chestnuts.